if we use the, the psychoanalytic perspective, right, and we say, well, science was born or as a rebellion against uh, the religious spiritual traditions that uh, kind of structured the old paradigm of mm -hmm. societies, uh, is it, is it, does it make sense that, it, that you would see it that way, that it's always trying to defend itself and keep um, those spiritual traditions away? Yeah, maybe let me elaborate a little bit on that because I think it's a complicated relationship. Uh, I think we have to we have to distinguish between spirituality as a lived experience of a reality that that goes beyond myself as a transcendent maybe reality or a reality that is bigger than myself. That is an experience, <clears throat> and that experience is at the bottom or at the foundation of every type of religion. And every religion, in a way, um, focuses on different aspects of that spiritual experience and brings it to the fore. For instance, the Christian uh, viewpoint is actually an elaboration of the Jewish one, where the, the Jewish rabbi Jeshua okay. uh, focused on the, on the reality of that this reality beyond us, which is called God in, or Yahweh in the Jew Jewish tradition, is love. Right? That's a specific yeah. focus. But the experience is a spiritual experience, and out of that grew the religion as a form to contain this experience and to also to reinvigorate and revive it every time the rituals and uh, the and the the formal aspects of a religion are practiced. Now, what happened over the centuries is that, to some extent, the spiritual core and the religious form came apart or disintegrated, not always, but often. And it is this formal part that uh, was also uh, hindering the political and the social development of uh, Western societies in Europe, right, and maybe also in the US. And it was against this formal and structural and also political part of religion that scientists combined with social progressive forces to fight it, right? And that is why uh, the Enlightenment movement, that is both a scientific and a social movement, uh, were against the church and the teachings and the moral and uh, political injunctions of the church. Now, the problem is that with that, the spiritual aspects also got removed from the scientific agenda because it were, they were kind of together. So it's like throwing out the baby with the bathwater, right? And uh, that is, I think, the historical reason why um, spirituality is such a taboo topic because it's combined with that scientific struggle for, of, with the Enlightenment struggle for freedom and political and scientific liberty, right? Yeah. And um, that is the unfortunate thing because that also... Um, drives the core, this experiential core, which is a human experiential core, independent of religious format, as it were, out of uh, the religious, oh, sorry, out of the scientific agenda and scientific um, approach. And that is what I think is, is one of the problems, because through that, a very important part of human reality, namely spirituality, is just put to the side, in a very similar way as in the 19th century sexuality was not part of uh, scientific discussions in medicine or in, in psychology.